Of course. I'm, uh, I'm just going to have to deal with it. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator. Welcome to Thursday. It is Thursday, September 26th, 2024. Day 270. Which means, uh... Only have 30 days left of this, uh... Portion. And then there's only... Oh, man. If, if you really think about it. We've got October, November, and December. So we've got... A little over 90 days. A little, just a little over 90 days, give or take. Well, no, that's uh, probably about 90, uh, 96 days left in the year. The progress is going really well. That, uh, let's realize, let me, uh, Get that adjusted a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it there. Screw it. I don't care. <laughs> My allergies are going nuts right now. I'm out of Zizol. I'm out of allergy medicine. And that cat has been coming in quite a bit. We, uh, I, I had a delay. I, I did have a delay on today's video. I apologize. Because, um, we had the, uh, internet service provider send a tech out today. Because, um, you know, last week we were having issues with our internet where, like, one day it was just constantly cutting out. Well, it took it, it took them until today to have someone sent out, which is okay. It For the most part, it worked. But they, they said it was necessary because if they ever came out, they were going to have to replace the router anyway because apparently our router was old. So they just installed a new router. But lucky, lucky luckily for us... They only had to bring it in because I knew how to do everything else. He was he was happy about that. It made his job a lot faster and easier. <laughs> but it, I still had to wait because his time frame of arrival was anywhere between noon and five, and he showed up around four thirty, five o'clock. He he showed up after my after Buttercup got home from school. But at least it's done. Have a new router. Have a, yeah, all the security set up and everything. So I, it, it, that's done. But because during that time, the cat just kept getting in the house. And I'm the only one, for some reason, who will pick him up to get him out of here. Everyone else kind of just tiptoes around the cat like, I don't know how to pick a cat up. I'm like, you pick him up. You just, you just pick the cat up. So... I'm the one who picks the cat up to, to deal with him. Allergies are very unforgiving about it. <laughs> Just the more I do things, the more <laughs> stuffed up I get. But we did get some uh, minor things taken care of today. I'm waiting for the weekend to install some uh, curtains in Buttercup's room, but that means she has to clean her room. So that's what I expect done. And uh, I do apologize for, once again, not being in VR chat. But the big reason is at the time of recording, it's already after 6 o'clock. So, with how everything turned out, I wasn't going to be able to get into VR chat with how late the, um, the technician got out here. And there was a lot of running around. And all, all the kids are just snacking on pistachios right now. Which means there is a minor chance I'll have to clean up pistachio cells. P P Pist pistachio shells. Pistachio shells. There we go. Apparently that was a tongue twister and that didn't need to be. Uh, there's that. And I, I, I just, I, I was uh, just playing Starfield as I was waiting for the technician and I did decide it. And as you, as you see on the video, I decided that I wanted to get the entire soul system survey scan complete. So Every planet and every moon in the solar system is complete. And now I want to turn to probably... I, I might work on Alpha Centauri next. But somewhere along the line. Obviously, it's going to have to happen after the 30th. Excuse me. Because of, you know, Tessa really waiting on Shattered Space. I'm waiting on Shattered Space as well. But uh, that with that DLC... Our ultimate goal that we've just kept putting off because we don't know 
how we're going to go about it of um, scanning every single system in the game. Like, we want to scan every moon, every planet of every star system in Starfield is kind of a goal that we want to have. Gotta get to that point, and that's going to be interesting. How, how are we... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, apparently I'm tongue-tied. Uh, how we're going to go about that in terms of content, we'll see. Uh, one thing we, we have realized is if Tessa wants to stream Starfield, that's going to be a challenge because we just don't have the CPU power for it to do the VTuber stuff, the voice mod, and streaming with Starfield running at the same time. It's... it's very tasking on the on our system and with an older um ninth gen i7 it's kind of limited so we'll have to figure it out maybe maybe if we change some settings and make the stream to 720p it would be doable but i know a lot of people are not thrilled with 720p they want their 1080 is you can't really stream above 1080 anyway, but 720 to, might be doable. It's apparently now 720 falls under standard definition. Okay, but there's that. Just waiting for this weekend to come to come along. Gonna have to see what we can do with what we've got left, and if we're gonna have to make any. Uh, Emergency supply runs this weekend. Hopefully not. But once Buttercup is done with her homework and she's watched enough of the show that she's watching, fourth grade, and because of student peer pressure, she begged us to start watching Demon Slayer, and I was really hesitant about letting her watch it. So she's watching Demon Slayer right now. <laughs> but it took about a week of discussing with Lilia and in, in that process we watched some of Demon Slayer ourselves with while Buttercup was asleep because um, she, she'd constantly oh, sorry uh, she'd constantly been saying that all of her classmates they, they, they're they all obsessed with Demon Slayer and I'm like okay I mean I, I really like anime and I, I grew up with some I grew up with censored anime well, more or less, I mean, late 90s, we had the Midnight Run on Toonami's Midnight Run before before Adult Swim was a thing. But in the early days of old Toonami, you know, like 1997, it was surprisingly censored. But luckily, it wasn't like, w, like WB kids and 4 kids level censored. Not to mention, <coughs> excuse me. The worst localization choices in, for language translations I've ever seen. Think Indigo League Pokemon level translations where all of your rice balls or, you know, Onigiri were all donuts. It was really stupid. But I, I, I grew up mostly, like, at younger because by then I was nine when I started watching, like, Gundam Wing. Um, it was still more or less censored. I mean, think. It, in Gundam Wing, Duo Maxwell was the god of death, is what he called himself. But those who remember the old Gundam Wing version on Toonami, he was the Great Destroyer, if you remember. A lot of things had, uh, well, the censors were a lot more strict in the, in the, uh, 90, well, I'd say late 90s they were stricter. So being the <sighs> concerned parent and, and knowing she's only 10 and I was like, okay, so what's the, I, I tried to look up the, um, the, um, TV rating. Because uh, we don't have we don't have Netflix, we have Crunchyroll, and I know Demon Slayer was on there, 
Crunchyroll doesn't show the, the ratings for their shows. Why are you not showing your the ratings for the shows? That's kind of an important thing. Is it like, oh, everyone's edgy on here, so it doesn't matter anyway? No, it still matters. <clears throat> I'd like to be able to see what those ratings are before I tune into something, you know? But the, the larger reason for why we had, cons uh, especially myself, had concerns of her watching it wasn't because it was an anime. It was because back when she was in, it was, I, I want to say it was either kindergarten. Yeah, I want to say it was may maybe kindergarten, maybe first grade. One of the two or both. All of her classmates and, and give it, they're all like six. Some of them seven, because, you know, she's a little bit older. That's a, that's a whole different story. She was never held back. <clears throat> it's because of how the school systems work on when you can uh, enroll. But all of her classmates, whom were most of them were a little bit younger than her, were watching Squid Games on Netflix in kindergarten and first grade. No. No. I'm, I, I was not okay with that because I, I, I've I never seen the show, but I know of what's in there. I mean, isn't it wasn't it like someone lost one of their little event games and uh, had a uh, shotgun send off or something like that is the best I can say. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not okay with someone kindergarten and first grade. I'm not okay with grade schoolers watching that. That's not for grade schoolers. In my opinion, <sighs> if you as a parent are letting your young children under the age of, honestly, under the age of 13, at the earliest, I'd say, and you're letting them watch Squid Games, you're likely a lazy parent. Or at least intellectually lazy just because just because your child's friends are all watching something or all doing something doesn't mean your child should too so because of this long established pattern of her classmates all watching content that's far above their age bracket we had a level of concern my concerns were founded because there are things in Demon Slayer that I do not think are appropriate for 10-year-olds. But right now, we're just easing her into it to make sure it's okay. And so so far, she's not having trouble with it. The, the, the other troubles are when she has to get up and do things. That's where the trouble is, but that's normal. But, <coughs> excuse me, my mouth, my throat's dry it's all the allergies Ugh. it's terrible but with that level of concern it i wanted to be more cautious with letting her watch certain things because think i'm not gonna let her watch family guy especially on the fact we don't have cable television uh in fact i don't have any streaming services that provide it anyway and i'm i'm okay with that because i don't care there, there's the the streaming services that it's on do not provide enough entertainment for my value not to mention they're quite expensive i'm i have zero plans of ever getting disney again and it, it, it's beyond their their terrible choices and constantly chastising their fan bases and the fact that they treat their audience like dirt. The the real well, yeah, they treat their audience like dirt. But really, uh, with when it comes to Disney, what sealed it for me was that New York lawsuit, <coughs> that uh, New York wrongful death lawsuit, with the whole you know you signed up for Disney Plus, therefore you're we're not liable for wrongful death at one of our restaurants. It's absolutely stupid. But that told me that sealed it for me where I just don't want Disney in my house at all anymore. <sighs> And it sucks because I'm a Star Wars fan. I loved um, the original trilogy. I loved the prequel trilogy. Um, Force Awakens was okay. Last Jedi. Oh my God, it was this. 
dumb movie. It was dumb. I love The Mandalorian. Love The Mandalorian. I love Star Wars Rebels. I love The Old Republic. But with what Disney did, it's, I'm, I'm out. And that's a whole different story. I don't need to continue on with that one because I'm just rambling right now. But I'm not, I'm, I don't need to get Disney Plus and I have no desire to really get Hulu right now. I mean, if I get Hulu, I'm going to do a double check and see if they have The Last of Bleach on there. Because I want to finish that series up because I know it's getting good. But right now, the only streaming service we do have outside of Crunchyroll is um, Paramount Plus. No, I do not watch Halo. I will say Star Trek Discovery did end on a good note. I liked it. In fact, the end the end of Star Trek Discovery was amazing. The fact that that was Agent Daniels from Star Trek Enterprise of the Temporal Wars is awesome. That is so cool. I still really want to see a Temporal War or a Temporal Cold War Star Trek series. I'd love to see that. And I and I am looking forward to Section 31. I, I ever since um, DS9 or you know Deep Space Nine, I've been a fan of I, I, I've been a fan of Section 31 because it's very covert spook kind of thing. By spooks, uh, when I when I talk about spooks, I'm talking about you know like deep entrenched what we used to think the FBI was, and then we started thinking the CIA. Now we just don't know anymore. Like somewhere deeper in Homeland Security kind of thing, you know spooks. And that's section 31. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Because I, I, Again, I'm, I'm not going to get Hulu. I don't want my kids watching Family Guy. It's inappropriate. And if you stream it, you're going to see some ding -a Don't need any of that. McFarlane, you, you, you sold out to yuck. But anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Because <laughs> I'm still getting more stuffed up from all that dander. And I need to cook dinner. We're going to try doing a few things. And I want Buttercup to help me possibly. We'll see. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their Thursday because you know, and it's not getting any earlier. I mean, it's, at, the, at, the, at the time of the end of this recording, it's 6.24 p.m. So there you go. This is Tara Quator on your Thursday, September 26, 2024, day 270. Hooray. We're, we're really making that progress there on staying sober. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you all tomorrow on Friday.